Ladies and gentlemen, we will make graphics cards great again. Hey there guys, and welcome back to the Jaw Media YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be working on turning this thing up. I'm a car guy, so we're going to crank her up. Or, you know, if you're into diesels, you can turn them up, get some more torque down to the ground. We're going to try to get some more torque down to the screen. So stay tuned, and we're going to see what we can do to this thing. Alrighty, before we get started, let me just say... <laughs> I am an enthusiast, I am not a professional, so I'm not responsible if something goes wrong and you fry your graphics card or something. Okay, that should be a given. But, anyway, let's get to it. You'll need a program called MSI Afterburner. You can download this off the internet. And then you can use uh, whatever benchmark tool you want, but there's also uh, MSI Combustor which allows you to run a uh, stress test on the GPU while you're working on it. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to turn up core clock and memory clock. We're going to adjust the power limit all the way up. And then core voltage, I don't know, we'll just start there. And then hit apply. But this, I mean, this software is easy to use. I mean, you just slide these sliders where you want them. You hit the check mark and it applies it to the card. And um, like right here is the fan speed. You can turn auto off, set it to full speed, and hit OK. You might be able to hear it on my mic. The uh, my GPUs are there screaming, or you can just leave it on auto, which is where I leave it all the time. Before we go into changing all this, let me reset her again. I've got. Where is it at? I think it's in Steam. Unless I got it hidden somewhere. Here it is. 3D Mark. But you want to get a baseline. Go ahead and run a, a benchmark, like 3D Mark. And they're, they may have a free version of this software you can download. I'm not too sure. I went ahead and paid for it on Steam. But um, it'll it'll benchmark your GPU and then it'll give you a uh, score. Uh, let's see, benchmarks, time spy, version 1.2. It's a DirectX 12 benchmark for gaming PC, so we'll go ahead and run that. Now I'm gonna fast forward through this so you don't have to see, see this whole freaking benchmark. It takes a few minutes to run this benchmark, but we'll get a score. That'll give us a baseline on a stock card. And um, make sure that you've got your case, your, your computer case, set up the way you're going to use it for gaming. Because when you overclock it, you want it to be in a uh, usable status where you're going to be playing You know your games. You don't want to take side panel off. You don't want to put a fan next to it. Uh, overclock it and then go play games and put it all, put the side cover back on. Because uh, that, might, that might be just enough for it to run unstable. So yeah, anyway, it's going to go ahead and do this, and um, we'll, we'll, I'll be back with the scores on our baseline run. Alright, well, we scored a 9,168 in stock trim. Um, I guess I should go ahead and go over the uh, type of rig we're running. It's a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super, you know that already. Uh, CPU is an AMD R7 3800X, 8-core, um, 16-thread processor. 32 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz RAM and um, that's what we got sorry the uh, recorder stop I'm using a free version uh, I haven't figured out a better way to screen record outside of games yet I haven't really looked into it so um, so we're gonna crank the GPU up just a little bit and see if we can bring that 9000 score up so what we want to do I'm just gonna go ahead and hit run and stress test computer's working hard right now there it goes okay so we're averaging about 70 frames per second so what I do first I crank the power limit all the way up and let's do that core voltage bring that up core clock let's say we'll add 50 to it let's 
see what that does. Okay, see now we're running 1920 megahertz, 75 frames, 74 frames. So we've already gone up a little bit on our frames. So let's go to memory. We'll do 500 on the memory. This should be doable. Okay, so 7300 megahertz on the uh, memory speed. 77, 76 frames per second. And the way this works, if you go too far, it will crash. But it should just revert back to the old settings on uh, Afterburner. So let's go ahead and go 55. And apply it. And then let's go 550 on the memory. Okay. It appears to be stable in here. I haven't seen any artifacting. You want to look for like little flickers or little glitches on the screen. If you start to go too far, you'll see them. And it's important it's important to benchmark um, you know, for a while. You you want to make sure it's not going to crash. You want to make sure you're stable. So, we've got this going here. The GPU's the GPU's warm, but the fan is running at 55. Uh, is that percent? The fans aren't running very fast, so it's it's kind of letting it run itself warm. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. I'm going to run another benchmark on um, 3D Mark, and we'll see what the new score is. Okay. Okay. After that run, we got up to uh, just under 9,900 on the uh, GPU score. So we're going to crank her up a little higher and see if we can get a better score. And there we go, a little bit more tweaking, and we've achieved a 10,326 um, overall score. 10,556 GPU score. Uh, let's see what it looks like online. <coughs> oh well, we're less than a thousand points away from a high end gaming PC in 2020. So, there you go. That's. Real brief overview on how to overclock your GPU. Um, have fun. Just keep tweaking at it, and um, I recommend everybody do that. I mean, because otherwise you're just leaving performance on the table. And um, you know, it, it, it you might be reducing the life of the card by a little bit, but most people upgrade long before you've got to worry about this killing your card technology moves too fast to worry about that so don't leave performance on the table turn it up a little bit cam it up and uh, see what you come up with thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video